once the baby trusts you, the second step is to try to touch him as much all over his face, his neck, his body as you can. Never get in a big hurry to put a halter on the baby. Just touch him and rub him all over the place. I first rub him with my bare hands, just like this, working my way down the side. And then eventually I will rub the baby with the halter and the lead rope. Never get in a hurry to catch up to him or hold him and trapped in a corner or any sort of situation where he may not feel secure. This is all about being patient and building trust. When I can rub him with my hand, then I'll slowly introduce the halter and the lead rope. And I'll rub him with the halter and the lead rope. It has a different feel. As you can see, it has a different feel to the baby. And if I can touch him all over with this halter and lead rope, then the chances of him letting me put it on his head are much better. So if she's trying to get away from me, so I'll step away, take the pressure off, let her relax. And eventually she'll come back to me, and when she comes back to me, then I'll start my process of desensitizing again. Again, I'm going to rub the halter and the lead rope all over this baby's neck and body, all around her ears, her face, building that confidence so that I can put the halter on her and begin to teach her how to lead. This step may take a day, it may take two days, it may be a process of taking a week. It all depends on your baby's experience with humans and how patient you are at going step by step.